Hi Leo! Welcome to your October 2020 general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Leo, this is a heavy season that we're coming into this Libra season. We have two full moons in October, eight planets are in retrograde, everyone's feeling the energy. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're healthy and safe. So, this is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement you feel guided to watch for the sign of Leo. This will not resonate with every Leo that watches this message, as this is a general reading. And not every message in this reading may be for you, Leo. Please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear that message. If this reading is not for you, Leo, I suggest checking your other signs and different placements because depending on the planetary aspects in the sky currently, those signs may resonate with you more at this time than your sun sign does. Hi cross watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in a Leo, who wouldn't be? I do have to remind Leo and cross watchers that energy is fluid as this reading is general. Therefore, if you feel like I'm describing a certain situation where the roles are flipped and reversed, you are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles. But because this is a Leo reading, I will make Leo the main subject of the reading. Finally, guys, I do want to announce my 200k giveaway. I recently hit 200,000 subscribers. What? Insane. And I want to give back to you guys for all the love and support that you show me. So if you're interested in entering the 200k giveaway, open up the description box and you'll find the rules of entry there. So let's go ahead and get into this, Leo. I'm already feeling like a sense of urgency here. I don't know why, I feel anxiousness. I don't know if you're waiting on someone, Leo, or someone's feeling like they're waiting on you, but I feel this urgency. That could just be a small message for some of you out there, but I'm going to go ahead and see what the cards have to say. All right, Leo, let's get started. Um, super weirdly, while I was doing that, my middle finger kept on tingling. I don't know if you've given someone the middle finger recently, someone's given you the middle finger recently. Um, I don't know, maybe someone's thing is to flip people off. I don't know. There's urgency, anxiousness, and then I felt that tingling. Maybe someone has a tattoo on their middle finger. Someone's wearing a ring on their middle finger. I don't know, that was weird. Let's go ahead and get into the reading. What is going on in Leo's love life right now, Spirit? What's going on in Leo's love life right now? Ooh, ooh, Page of Cups. Interesting. You know what? Someone has feelings for you, Leo, that they weren't ready or willing to show to you. Or you're just this experience with this person or someone around you in your energetic field is starting to have feelings for you but let's go ahead and pull out the other cards oh yeah but they're holding back they're not talking they're not willing to talk you see it as they could give a shit less but the furthest is from the truth but even if that even if they do have feelings, what does it mean if they're not showing it to you, if they're not willing to show it to you? Mm -hmm. mm. Interesting, a lot of pentacles. Some of you are definitely dealing with an earth sign. We have all of them here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This has been an ongoing energy for my Leos here. I mean, Leo, I feel as if 
you think, or someone thinks at least, there's some unrequited love going on here. And someone's really losing interest in this connection overall. They're not happy with where it is. They're not content with where it is. And I gotta say, Leo, I feel like this is you, especially if you have cancer in your chart, but you could also be connected to a cancer. But yeah, Leo, I think some of you just moved on with the situation. Um, you just feel like, you know, you were the only one trying to put some emotional effort into this, that you were the only ones that really had feelings and you were trying to give too much into someone that you felt wasn't feeling the same way. So instead of just sitting there and pouting and being upset about it, and even if it was hard for you guys to move on, I think you guys just start are starting to, or at least trying to look at different options, different, I don't know. There's, there's something Leo though, I feel as if, there is a person around you, it may not be this person, but there's someone who's definitely expressed interest in you recently, and you, and this isn't for everyone, but you didn't really think you were going to give that person a chance, or that you really weren't feeling them because you were into this person, but now you're starting to think it could be an option for you here. Someone could wear hoop earrings as well, quite frequently, that could be someone's thing. And I'm also seeing like slicked back hair, I don't know if someone uses like um, hair gel or pomade, is that what it's called? I don't know. But uh, regardless, someone feels like there was unrequited love. But I gotta say, we have the Page of Cups here. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Some of you could be connected to a water sign or you could have water in your chart. Now that someone's alone, now that someone has, you know, felt like all these feelings were for naught. I feel as if someone's realizing that there's so much more to what they were feeling, especially if you guys walked away or pulled your energy back. I feel as if now, Leo, that you decided that you were going to move on to maybe even someone else or just something else. Now, they're in their feelings about you. Now they're like, damn, this is unexpected, really, is what I'm feeling here. I'm also seeing someone that always like wears a specific necklace. Like I don't know if it was given to them by a family member or by a friend or some other significant other, but it's like a necklace that they always wear, they never take off, even going in the shower. But there's unexpected feelings here that popped up and I feel it was after you left or after you decided to not give a damn as what you perceived they weren't giving a damn, right? Someone loves like yellow flowers as well. I don't know if it's like yellow roses, sunflowers, um, you know, something of that nature. And someone has pointy nipples too, I have to say. But yeah, I feel as if they didn't even realize the feelings that they had for you until you left. I want to clarify this. Definitely. Ace of Pentacles. Earth energy again. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. What else? The Empress. Ooh, Leo. Four of Cups again, bottom of the deck, Cancer energy. Leo, I feel as if either you gave someone some sort of ultimatum, whether you vocalized it or your energy just spoke for that alone. But what I really feel here is that Leo, I don't know why all of a sudden, but all of a sudden they're now starting to feel like there could be some potential here, abundance here. Far past, you know, just the minimum, right? The Empress, that's a major arcana. That's a card of creation. That's a card of manifestation. That's the card of beauty and love as Venus is its ruler. 
Some of you could have Taurus or Libra in your chart, or you could be connected with a Taurus or a Libra, but someone now sees that this could grow from something that they didn't feel like it could have in the past for whatever reason, whether they wanted to be single, whether they wanted to work it on their career, I see that very strongly, especially with all the pentacles. Maybe they just use that as an excuse to not open up their heart. But, oh, I gotta say too, um, someone may be finding out that they're pregnant, okay? Not for everyone, obviously, but for someone there, definitely. And they haven't, who, whether it's you, Leo, or someone else, they haven't told anyone yet. Wow. And, you know, for others of you where the pregnancy isn't so much, <laughs> isn't what it is, it's the fact that they're now, I, they daydream about you all the time. They fantasize about you. And the fact that you're in their mind this much, in their heart this much, they're thinking that maybe there was something there that I took for granted, a hundred percent. You know, I tried to play or push aside the Empress, regardless of gender or sex. The Empress doesn't wait around for anyone. And I think that was you, Leo. You were off to start something else, a new creation, or at least manifest someone who would show that they cared. But the minute you did that, they started to regret it big time. Wow, retrograde se season hitting hard in these readings. Let's keep going. What's challenging this and crossing this, the Eight of Swords, Gemini energy. Some of you could be connected to a Gemini or you could have Gemini in your chart. The in stuck, stagnancy, but the inability or thinking that there's no way out of this. Hmm. Leo, I feel like this is the person you're connected to or dealing with or dealt with. I mean, I feel as if there was like a fear of opening up. They thought that if they were to express their feelings, if they were to express their interests, that would somewhat bind them. But that was all in their head. Because Leo, I don't know, maybe they dealt with like a codependent person in the past or someone that they couldn't, you know, shake off in the past. They for some reason thought that that was going to be every relationship. So they wanted to be single. They didn't want to start a commitment with anyone until there was you. And it got them in this stuck place. But, you know, Leo, this could also be your energy as well. And why I'm saying that is that some of you, I feel like you're mirroring each other in the way that you're not expressing how you guys feel. Maybe you did at one point, but you realized that was a mistake because they weren't um, reciprocating that energy. But you both feel like you can't communicate to each other, that you can't open up to each other. But I do feel like there's feelings there and someone needs to know that. And the fears are what's binding someone from opening up. It has nothing to do with you know, reality, it's all in their head. You know, what if I open up and this happens? Or what if, you know, I give Leo a chance or take a chance on this and Leo somehow ends up hurting me? Someone's very, very afraid here. But I also feel for others, someone feels like they can't move on from this. Someone wears ankle boots quite frequently as well. Like that's someone's fall fashion or winter fashion. I also feel like this person's from your hometown. I don't know. That's not for everyone, obviously. But this got them all screwed up, Leo. Especially for the fact that they can't get you out of their head big time. But it's really playing themselves. Because the more they're not going to fight to get out of the quicksand, the more the quicksand is going to sink them, right? And what I mean by that is they feel themselves falling. They feel themselves having feelings, but they're not doing anything about it. They're staying stuck. And if they're not going to fight for it, it's just going to sink them and sink this whole connection. 
Also, someone could have a like a dimple on their chin, like a cleft chin. Just a confirmation. What is being seen is the Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Yeah, you know, someone, a couple different things for different groups of you. This is straight up someone you see is not going to open up or you just lose hope in this person ever opening up to you. They want to close themselves off. And again, it's for a means of protection. It's for a means of security. Or what they perceive to be safe. And it's not. It's just screwing themselves over, quite frankly. It's making them feel like they have to be alone. They have to be by themselves. This person's not very trustful of anyone, Leo. It's not just you. It's really anyone. But at the same time, I feel as if they're hoping that you'll still reach out to at least see if you're still interested. It, it's kind of screwed up. It's like they want to have their cake and eat it too with you, Leo, but that's not the case. And it never will be. Someone can also be insecure about their stomach. Feel like it's a little flabby or something. But Leo, what's reading this three of pentacles energy. So this could be someone that you work with, um, you know, through your job, maybe you collaborate or you've worked on projects with each other and that's how you met for some of you, others of you, um, different messages. So for some, you know, the root of this was that they didn't know if they wanted to just settle down and commit to one person. There could have been other options or they could have thought that the grass was greener on the other side. So before they gave you the full on commitment, they wanted to try other things out, not commit to anything fully. And that's what was rooting it. It's the fear that if I should commit and devote, am I missing out on other things? Strange. I definitely feel like someone was dealing with someone in the past that was extremely clingy. But others of you, I gotta say, Leo, and most of you really, is that this person wants to work on this. They don't want this to give this up and they're hoping that you're gonna wanna collaborate and do the same. Work on this together. Have the same optimism together. But yeah, someone definitely was afraid of losing out on other options. And I know that sounds really harsh, but I have to be real with you. Recent past, Six of Pentacles energy. Taurus energy again. Strong Taurus energy in this reading. Um, yeah, so what I feel with this energy, this is the reason why you left, Leo, or the reason why you think it's over. Um, there was just no reciprocation or you weren't seeing any effort being made. You weren't seeing them trying to reach out to you or wanting something more from this. And you also saw that you were doing way too much and even compromising your own integrity for this person or trying to get in hopes with this person. But someone misses seeing your face. I don't know what that's all about. Um, I mean, clearly they think you're very beautiful or very handsome. Oh, they miss waking up to your face. I don't know if this person spent the night at your house quite frequently, or maybe you spent the night at their house. That's confirmation for someone. But yeah, the reason why you left is that you didn't see equal give and take. You didn't see reciprocation and you were not going to be the one sided person giving and doing all. That was not what was going to happen. The near future, Seven of Pentacles, Taurus energy again, my goodness. So, you know, what I feel is that, Leo, you left the ball in this person's court for them to decide. You know, for the meantime, maybe I'll pull back. I won't try, but it's up for them. If they really want me, they're going to have to put the work and if they do show me some sort of effort, I'm going to have to analyze myself if it's worth it to try this again or to just give this more hope than I've already have or to just say F it and cut the whole damn thing down and work on something new. There's going to be a lot of thinking, a lot of thinking, but Leo know that you're on their mind.
And someone likes to wear mini skirts too. But yeah, I feel as if someone has a lot, a lot to think about before this can really go anywhere. And the ball's definitely in their court. They know it too, Leo. But are they going to be, I guess, courageous enough to finally put their ego and pride aside and work on this? Or is it just going to remain the same and nothing's ever going to go anywhere? I don't know. We're going to see in the likely outcome, Leo. So if you'd like to join me there, just open up the description box and you'll find the link that will take you to Vimeo. But before we go, Leo, I'm going to pull a card from the Romance Angels deck. I'm going to ask Spirit if what is this connection and what do they think of you, Leo? Anything else that can provide further confirmation? New love and chemistry. Okay, so different messages for different groups of you. For some of you, um, I got to be honest, you, you have either moved on to a different option or maybe in this person's attempt to get over you, they've tried to move on with someone else. Maybe you heard of it. Um, but Leo, the chemistry between the two of you is still on the back of their mind 100%. You guys just have this bond, this chemistry, this spiritual cord between the two of you that is not easily broken. Also, someone could own a red hoodie. That could be confirmation as well. Or someone's favorite color is red. But I think that someone's, others of you, if this is not a new person on your end or their end, they're coming to this new stage and this new awakening of the love that they've always had for you, but is finally being revealed to them now that you pulled aside and walked away. So, the likely outcome, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo, Leo. If you enjoyed this reading, please let me know, Leo. Please hit that like button, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. And again, if you'd like to join me there for the extended reading, just open up the description box. I'm going to see what this likely outcome is and pull some oracle cards for some advice and anything to add to this likely outcome. But Leo, know that you're on their mind. Know that they want to work on this, but will they actually make the move? And that's what pissed you off this entire time. So, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo. But before we go, I do want to say that I am still selling my hand-picked crystal sets and handmade zodiac candles at my online shop, mermaidscaleshop.com. I hand-select every crystal that goes in each crystal set that I feel every purchaser will resonate with. And I do hand-make all the zodiac candles that I sell in my online shop, where I intu intuitively <laughs> choose the colors and the scents that I feel every zodiac sign will vibe with. If you're interested in making a purchase for yourself or someone that you love, Please feel free to check out the online shop where you can find the link in the description box of this video. I love you, Leo, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Leo.